So the first speaker will be Miguel Pinar, Jackson type estimates on the weighted unit ball. So please begin your talk. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, first, uh, I want to thank uh, for all of you <clears throat> to come here and also to thank the organizer of the, of the meeting for being so brave <clears throat> to organize this uh, meeting again. And also, I want to say hello to all my old friends in this conference. And after this, I am going to start quickly. Those are the contents of my talk. And first, I'm going to talk about uh, reflection groups. Uh, we introduce uh, the tantal operator and age harmonic related with these uh, reflection groups. Uh, we introduce again the orthogonal polynomial in the unit board related with the tantal operators. And um, uh, finally, uh, we will show the main theorem in our work in the, this Jackson type theorem. The idea behind our weight function is some kind of uh, symmetry of the weight function. Uh, but in this case, the symmetry is related with reflection with respect to an plane in the, uh, the space RD. By a reflection, we denote uh, sigma B. And sigma B, the action of sigma B is given by this expression, but we can understand uh, quickly the action of sigma b just denoting by b the vector. And this is the hyperplane uh, orthogonal to b. And then for a uh, vector x, the action of sigma b applied to x is just this symmetric green vector. <clears throat> to introduce the idea of co a coxeter group, we introduce first idea of a root system. A root system is just a set of vectors in RD satisfying this property that uh, if we have two different vectors in the root system, then uh, sigma b applied to you is again a vector in R in the root system. Uh, a root system is called reduce. If, uh, if we have two vectors related by this identity, u is equal to p b, then c must have to be plus minus one. It's just if b is equal to u or the opposite. <clears throat> For a given vector u zero, uh, satisfying that u times u zero is different from zero for all the vector in the root system, we define the positive root with respect to u zero, just as the set of vector in the root system, satisfying that the uh, scalar product, the standard scalar product is bigger than zero. Of course, <clears throat> with this definition, we have that uh, a root system can be written uh, as the union of R plus and the opposite of this vector minus R plus. A coseter group W is just <clears throat> a subgroup of the uh, group OD generated by the <clears throat> reflections associated to the vectors in the root system. Of course, if the root system is reduced, then all the reflection contained in W is exactly the reflection associated to the positive part of the uh, root system. <clears throat> For a given uh, root system, we define a multiplicity function, just a function from the uh, finite uh, from the <clears throat> root system to R, where on this number, kappa B is uh, just a number bigger or equal than zero. Satisfying that <clears throat> kappa B is uh, equal to kappa u whenever sigma u is conjugate to sigma b. <coughs> Using 
a uh, root system, uh, is actually the system of positive group of a uh, root system, we will define a more uh, weight function on the sphere by this expression. <clears throat> the characteristic of this uh, weight function is that this uh, weight function is invariant uh, under the action of the reflection group. If we don't know by gamma kappa, the sum of all the numbers in the multiplicity function, <clears throat> and lambda kappa, this number here, then <coughs> we can define uh, the tanker operator associated by means of this expression. Here, uh, this, uh, the first part is just the standard derivative, partial derivative. And here we have uh, the difference by, between uh, fx and f applied to the image by, or yes, the image by sigma b of x. Of course, <clears throat> uh, we can introduce uh, a wall of ideas just uh, parallel to the uh, partial derivative. Uh, in particular, the main property for the Dunkel operator uh, is that the Dunkel operator commute. Using this property, <clears throat> we are going to obtain very nice property. But uh, for a particular case, we can consider this weight function. This weight function is invariant on the sink chain. And uh, in this way, it's invariant under the group theta 2d. In this case, the positive part of the uh, root system is just the basis E1, E2, ED, the canonical basis. And in this case, the Dunkel operator are very easy. Uh, <clears throat> in the, uh, this part, we have only the different Fx minus Fx sigma i. Well, sigma i is just the change of spin of the variable on the position i. Using the Dunkel operator, we can define uh, the H analog of the Laplace operator. Uh, we will denote it by delta H. And um, uh, just in the, in the same way as in the classical case, in a spherical polar coordinates, the uh, Laplace operator, the H analog of the Laplace operator, the Dunkel Laplace operator, can be uh, represented in this expression here. The left part is just the radial part. And the second one here is the H analog of the Laplace Beltrami operator on the unit sphere as D1. Using also the <clears throat> Dunkel operator, we can define the angular operator Dij by this expression here. In, in the classical case, these are really the angular operator. Here is uh, something more complicated, more important. Now we are going to introduce the H harmonic polynomials. <clears throat> we will denote by PND the space of homogeneous polynomial, total degree N. We will call a polynomial uh, in PND uh, an H harmonic polynomial if it satisfies the H Laplace equation, delta H equal to zero. We can denote by H N D HK2, uh, the space of H harmonic polynomial of total degree N. And we know that the dimension of this space is just the difference of these two uh, combinatorial numbers. We will denote this dimension by A and D. The spherical H harmonics uh, are the restriction of H harmonic to the unit sphere. They have a very similar property uh, to the classical spherical harmonic. For instance, they are a function of the Laplace Beltrami operator. Also, they are orthogonal with respect to the inner product. Given this expression here, we have a weight function here. If 
H kappa 2, <coughs> this wave function is defined from the uh, uh, Coxeter group. <coughs> and uh, this number here is just the uh, a normalizing constant. Using the H historical harmonics, we can define the orthogonal polynomial on the unit ball with respect to a weight function, which contains a part. <coughs> this part is related with the system, and also in this part is the classical weight function on the uh, <coughs> sorry on the ball on the unit ball. From this weight function, we define a standard scalar product, and we will denote by BND the linear space of orthogonal polynomial of total degree n with respect to this scalar product. From here, we can construct different bases for this uh, linear space of orthogonal polynomial, but we are going to use a uh, basis which is connected with a very classical basis, which is given in this way. We will consider first an orthonormal basis for the uh, <clears throat> HF spherical harmonics of total degree n minus 2j. And we define a polynomial on the variable x with total degree n by this product. This product we have on the left here, we have a polynomial part, <clears throat> which is uh, defined by means of uh, Jacobi polynomials, where the parameter of the Jacobi polynomial depends on the degree j, and also on the parameter lambda kappa defined from the root function, from the root system, sorry. And in this part, we put this uh, one is the radial part, and here we put the spherical part, which is given by the H spherical matrix. It's not too difficult, it's just some <clears throat> uh, computation just to show this uh, polynomial are an orthogonal basis for the space BND. In particular, <clears throat> the norm, uh, the two norm for this uh, polynomial is given in terms of this Pohammer symbol. Or gamma. Using this, we can define the orthogonal projection operator. This projection operator is defined from the polynomials of the total degree n to the uh, spherical H spherical harmonic of total degree n. And we know that this projection operator can be expressed in terms of the uh, powers of the uh, delta H operator, of the H Laplacian operator. Then using that uh, the spherical harmonics uh, have several properties related with the Laplace uh, Beltrami operator, then we can represent the projection operator applied to the product of Xi, one of the variables, times the H harmonic uh, polynomial is given by this expression here, this very short expression. Uh, this uh, relation is very important because we can connect the uh, multiplication by Xi, the shift operator applied uh, connected with the multiplication by Xi with uh, itself and also with the derivatives, uh, not the derivatives, the Dunkel operators are associated with the uh, corresponding root system. <clears throat> then <clears throat> using this, we can obtain a representation from the uh, action of the Dunkel operators to the polynomial on the uh, base. In particular, we have this short representation. We have in this part, we have the radial part, it's exactly the same radial part. And here we have the action of di on the Asia spherical harmonic. And here we have also a Jacobi polynomial, but uh, with uh, shift parameters. Uh, here is 
j minus one, and the parameter beta is also uh, j minus one. And here is the projection of the error. So using this, we can see that the uh, Dunker operators uh, applies the orthogonal polynomial of total degree n in orthogonal polynomial of total degree n minus one, but with a shift on the parameter mu. And of course, the delta H operator applies uh, the VND in VN minus two D, but now the shift of the parameter in mu is in two units. The main property connecting the H uh, uh, delta operator, the H Laplacian, with uh, our orthogonal polynomial is the damage of the polynomial, the orthogonal polynomial, under the action of uh, this, this Laplace operator and the Laplace Beltran operator uh, have a very simple form. In particular, if we apply the delta uh, H operator to this polynomial, we obtain uh, <clears throat> up to a constant here, we obtain uh, a polynomial in the same family with a shift on the parameter. We load the, the total degree by n minus two, and we have a uh, shift on the, the parameter j, we have j minus one. And the weight function is shifted by two units. And the Laplace uh, Beltrami operator applies this polynomial in itself. <clears throat> Using this, we are going to obtain uh, some uh, estimate for the error on the best approximation of a function belonging to the L2 space. For a given uh, function f belonging to the L2 space uh, with the uh, weight function uh, W kappa mu on the unipole, uh, we can define the Fourier function in terms of the orthogonal polynomials by this uh, triple sum. In particular, the coefficients here uh, have the standard representation for the uh, Fourier coefficients. And um, if we denote by um, this symbol, the projection operator and um, by SM kappa mu, the partial sum operator, then we have <clears throat> some very nice properties uh, that show that the Dunkel operator commutes um, in some special way with the partial sum operator. This is a very important uh, <clears throat> property in fact, we have that the Dunkel uh, operator applied to SM is SM minus one applied to the Dunkel operator to F. Um, we have a similar property for, of course, we have a very similar property for the Laplace operator, and of course, for the Laplace Beltran operator. With these properties, we can manip manipulate all the uh, Uh, all the partial sums and the uh, Fourier series, and we can obtain a relation between the, the error function for the uh, function F and the error function for the uh, function delta H F and the delta H zero of F. In particular, we can show that the error function EN F <clears throat> is uh, less or equal than two uh, than c over n2 times this expression here. In this expression, all the, the parts in this expression, both parts are necessary because if uh, our function f is h harmonic, then delta h f is equal to zero. And we will know, <coughs> we will need, sorry, the other part uh, related with the Laplace Beltrami operator. And um, in the case when f is a radial function, then the Laplace Beltrami operator applied to f is equal to zero, and we will need the other part. So we need both parts in this representation. Of course, we can extend this property <clears throat> for i uh, 
for power of the Laplace operator and power of the Laplace operator, and we get this inequality here. <clears throat> and of course, using that the error function is uh, smaller than the norm of the function f itself, then we have that this error function for m bigger or equal to 2s is smaller than s over m power 2s times this expression here. Given in terms of the delta uh, s applied to f and delta h 0 s applied to f. Of course, this gives uh, <clears throat> the rate of convergence of the euro function to zero. We can show also that the, the previous result can be extended also to include the best approximation by polynomial on this place LP, not only in L2, uh, also in LP. And this can be extended also to a similar relation in the case where the parameter, the parameter S is not an integral, is uh, a number between zero and one. And so we have power of the, <coughs> Uh, rational power of the delta and the delta is zero operator. The other case, uh, until now we have shown uh, from Professor. Sorry, you already have very, very few minutes to finish. Yes, uh, I have only, I need only one minute. <clears throat> Thank you. In the particular case uh, where the weight function is invariant under this theta two group. In this case, we can obtain <clears throat> a uh, representation for the basis given in terms of uh, Gegenbauer polynomials. And using this representation, we can obtain also this kind of uh, <coughs> estimate for the error function in terms of the error function of the individual uh, Dunkel operators and the uh, Dunkel angular uh, operator. But this inequality uh, for our general reflection group remains an open problem. And this is all you can find all the, this prop, no, uh, all the theory about uh, H harmonic in the uh, Fendi and Joan Shoe book or also in the Duncan and Shoe book. And this is all. And thank you for your attention. It's possible. Uh, thank you, Miguel, for your talk. So, please, uh, are there any questions or comments? Okay, if not, then we finish and we should start immediately. Uh, uh, just a second, Sereja. Okay, good. Uh, we have a question here from Sochi. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you please uh, remind uh, the properties of the function H participating in the definition of Dunkel operators? The properties of H function in the beginning. At the beginning. This one. Yes. Uh, 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 well, so, sorry, I don't. I don't see it from. Yeah. 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 K new. Yeah. And no restriction of on on K new. K new are uh, what are K new? There's a. Uh, this K. Uh, the, this K is and, the. And, and what simplicity function? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, so no, no questions anymore. <laughs> okay, good. So thank you, Miguel.